Hello and welcome to Technology Simplicity YouTube channel. My name is Jay Chung. Today I'm going to share with you how to create a beautiful timeline which you can embed to your website or perhaps you can straight away share the link to your friends to showcase the historical, the historical moments of yourself, your company or your organizations. And I'm talking about updating the timeline as easy as just update Google Sheet. You don't believe it, right? Let's take a quick look at how does it do it. Let's go. Well, to do that, thank you so much to Night Lab. Okay, if you look at this guy here, okay, Night Labs is already. Let me create this guy. Okay, mouse Night Lab. Okay, Night Lab has already created a very simple way for you to embed your Google Sheet contents into a very beautiful timeline and we're talking about responsive enough and we're talking about very easy to update that's it and most importantly is 100% free so let me show you how to do it very beginning go to google search night lab timeline okay you just type night lab timeline in your google search and you shall see the very first guy called timeline nightlab.com so when you come to this guy please click on it Have a check yep. okay when you come to these guys if you you shall see easy to make beautiful timeline so if you click on the to make a timeline of course there's instructions so how you expecting the timeline to be look at this guy this is simple right can you believe that all these all these items is actually customized in Google Sheet. Yes, Google Sheet. Yeah, I've been repeated a few times, and you feel like, okay, are you sure? Okay, okay. Just click and make a timeline here. Okay, here are some instruction about one, two, you know, three, four, and so on. Okay, so the very first and important thing is, of course, you must have a Google account so that you can get the spreadsheet templates. So click on it, and then you make a copy of this template. Okay. Don't edit the very first row of the data, which is considered this part. Okay, don't edit this part, and all you need to do is just edit the rest. Okay, here let me explain a little bit what it's going to do to you. It's very simple. At this side, it's going to show your first timeline. For example, look at this guy. You need a picture, you need a headline, you need a description, as well as you need date and time right so this is the part you edit here for example you want to put a year a month and day and up to you whether you're part of times as well if the moment that you're trying to record is period you can as well as put end end year month day and, and time and you can display the date in the format that you want also so for me i'm just going to ignore it I'm going to put it for example 2009 and it's January. Then I'm just put a headline, for example, just Uchu, you know, um, the president, you know, stuff like that. And here's a very important thing. Remember just now I mentioned you need a media file, okay? For example, it's picture like this. Okay. So you need to capture your picture somewhere. Of course, you can always um, upload your pictures to the uh, Google Drive. Then you can copy the link here or you can put it in other places like you know Flickr, Instagram and so on. Okay, for this particular example, I already done it here, which is moments ago. So I actually uploaded to one of my uh, my own uh, image file hosting. It's called image.jagore.com. So what I'm going to do is I'm just copy the link here. The image URL. Basically, you are not uh, restricted to just one particular website that you want to capture the media file. It could be a picture, it could be a video, which is from YouTube, Daily Motions, uh, Vimeo, or perhaps it's a sound audio that you can capture from SoundCloud and stuff like that. Okay, it's very, very powerful. Just copy and just paste it here. Okay. When you're done editing all this stuff, okay, your headline, your text, your media, perhaps you can put, uh, you know, you can put media credit if you want. For example, this guy here, they actually put media credit by who and it's actually hosted at where. So it's really up to you how you want to show it. Okay, for me, I'm leaving blank. And media thumbnail, whether you want to put it up like 
what's the size okay it's up to you for me i just leave it black and for this guy the type i always choose tighter so that the whole thing is looks uh, you know wider and lastly if you want to have a special background color you can always put here okay i know this is a quote that uh, average joe you do understand right you can ignore it okay for now if you really want to understand this background color one of the easiest way is you open up a powerpoint i'm not sure you guys realize or not open up powerpoint and when you actually want to um change the background color format background okay you change the color here for example i can put it in blue color okay so this color you can actually get the color code here um more colors here you see this guy this is the hex color ladies and gentlemen so let's say this is the color that i want and this is the hex color i need so i'm just copy this guy and go back to the background here and paste it as simple as that okay so once i done that what you need to do is okay assuming you already prepare all your uh, beautiful milestone or your things okay next thing this is very important make sure this time um, this google sheet you click file go to share and click publish to web okay let me repeat file share and publish to web and of course if you're looking at this video might be um you know might be quite some time after i upload that the sequence of the publish to web could be different okay this could be uh you know google have been updated their interface and the flow but it's fine just look for publish to web okay what you need to do next is click to publish to web and you make sure you click publishing okay if this is the first time okay let me show you this is the new one if it's first time you click here it should be like this okay up to this point you just click publish and it will actually ask you whether you want to publish the selection yes i want to publish the entire document and so on just click ok and that's it okay, the next thing is you're not going to copy this link okay let me come back to the one that i'll be working on okay to save the time so that i already created my own here okay the next thing is you want to copy this link the link that on the url bar okay just copy it and the next thing is go back to the timeline here okay you already have step two copy the link come to this step three generate a timeline paste it here once you paste it here actually you can preview and voila this is your very beautiful timeline uh, which is this is mine okay this is my very own uh, achievement uh, in, in timeline view so remember just now i already put up the background color this is the one that they show here okay let me show you one more time this is the background color see okay this is word typing there that's why we're typing there have a special word background color other than that the reds is actually uh, in, in white color so when you done this the next thing of course you can always copy this iframe code and paste it in your website okay when i say paste it in your website it's that simple that you just go to your web page for example you want to post it in your wordpress you just copy this code paste on the page and publish that's it it's amazing it's how easy it is right so the next thing is after you publish and put it at your website the next thing is anytime you have a new achievement or new milestone they want to insert into the timeline you don't need to redo anything else but you just insert a new row and add in a new thing for example 202 um, this is march okay i'm trying to put anything here uh, for example uh, yay okay i'm going to put a, a picture that i will publish somewhere let me see maybe this copy and come back here paste okay you know it's safe because google sheet is always updated okay just check on this part here it's always updated and preview i believe the last one have been updated okay if not you just scroll it up here you remember just now i type yeah that's it it's so simple right 
is almost instant instant of the update ladies and gentlemen so so i already show you how to easily create the interactive beautiful timeline using google sheet and thanks to night lab and of course remember to host your media somewhere else so that you can actually pull it up and the most importantly is free and it can be easily updated do the timeline just by inserting new content on your google sheet it's very simple right okay if you think you learned something and you like this video please do me a favor please click a like subscribe to my channel and put a ring put a ring uh, here <laughs> put a ring so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video like this okay, thank you so much for watching and most importantly stay home stay safe i hope to see you again and bye bye